Well, we're used to seeing hashtag Me Too in Hollywood and the media, but the movement broke into a whole new institution recently when a professor suggested that the Virgin Mary did not consent to Jesus Christ's conception. Hashtag Mary Too? Let's take a look. Minnesota State University professor Eric Sprankle suggested that the virgin birth story is about an all-knowing, all-powerful deity impregnating a human teen. There is no definition of consent that would include that scenario. Happy Holidays. Wow. What is it that drives these scholars who claim to value inclusion to tear apart the very institutions that unite us? Is it a visceral loathing for anything associated with Western culture? Or is it a more casual, petty vindictiveness, kind of like how Milo said 30-something-year-old feminists are taking out their anger on younger women? Anyways, regarding the Virgin Mary, it's not clear whether Dr. Sprinkle has actually read the Bible. Luke 1 verse 31 has an angel telling Mary, Behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. Mary's response comes in verse 38, when she says, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. One Twitter user pointed this out to the professor, but Dr. Sprinkle was not having any of it. He said, The biblical God regularly punished disobedience. The power difference, deity versus mortal, and the potential for violence for saying no, negates her yes. To put someone in this position is an unethical abuse of power at best, and grossly predatory at worst. You know, I think it's finally time for a challenge. Name one, one domain that social justice has not yet infiltrated. It started off in the confines of social sciences and the humanities, but look where it is today. It's reached the most technical of subjects with Princeton offering a science after feminism course, it's hit the world of comedy, and it's even trickled into the video game industry with scandals like Gamergate. Now, it makes sense for religion, ordinarily viewed as a bastion of purity, to be the last stop for progressive PC cancer. But something tells me you won't find Dr. Sprinkle criticizing consent when it comes to Islam. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.